welcome to another What I Eat In A Day video. This video was actually supposed to be a meal prep video, so it's Sunday. Sunday is the day that I usually meal prep, but we had our grandchildren this weekend. My husband and I have some errands we gotta run this morning, and I just decided I am not gonna go do the errands, come back, and be rushing around trying to meal prep. So for today, since I'm not doing meal prep, I figured I would do a What I Eat In A Day. I have no clue what we're going to be having today. I figured I'd just take you along and share my day with you. So if you need somebody else to follow for Weight Watchers meal prep, go check out Jess over at Journey to Healthy. She does amazing meal preps. I'll link her channel down below. I think a lot of you will relate to her if you relate to me. I think we're both similar in age and we both have a lot of similarities just I think in just our overall outlook and kind of attitude towards Weight Watchers and losing weight and getting healthy. We both have careers outside the home so like YouTube is not our job. It's something that we just do as a hobby. She's a sweetheart. She's so down to earth. So go check her out and let her know that I said hi. So I'm starting my day with water. I was always the type of person who would wake up in the morning and coffee was the first thing I had. Like do not talk to me until I had my coffee. And sometimes that was pretty much my breakfast too. Like I would drink coffee just all morning long and wouldn't eat anything. And I've really changed that a lot in the past few months and it honestly makes me feel a lot better. So when I get up in the morning, I try to drink about eight to 16 ounces of water. Usually I'll drink that while I'm getting ready for my day. And then after that, I'll either make a breakfast or just have something little before I have my coffee. So it just depends on how hungry I am. If I'm real hungry, I will make a whole breakfast. If not, then I'll just have something small. So on Weight Watchers, I get 23 points a day and 28 weeklies, and I do eat my weeklies. So like I said, my husband and I have to run some errands, and honestly, I'm not real hungry this morning. So I'm just gonna have something little, and I'm gonna have my Good Culture cottage cheese. This is the cottage cheese that I absolutely love. It's two points, it's low-fat cottage cheese, and it's 120 calories. It's a little bit more than a half a cup, these containers. So I know that fat-free cottage cheese is zero points for those not on the diabetic plan, but I prefer to take the points and have this. I love this kind. And then I'm also gonna have, I have a kiwi here that I've got a spoon stuck in there. I just cut the top off and I put a spoon in there and I just kinda spoon it out. I have my coffee here that I'll just take with us. And for my coffee, I use zero sugar French vanilla coffee mate and I've been using the Splenda monk fruit sweetener. I used to use the Splenda packets, but I found this and I really like it. I used maybe like a teaspoon. So I count my coffee as two points and about 60 calories. So I'm gonna eat my little breakfast snack here, take my coffee, my husband and I have some errands, and then I'll come back and share my day with you. All right, so now I'm making my breakfast, or I guess you could call it lunch, because it's not really morning anymore. But I am actually making some extra vegetables, so a lot of you know I love vegetables with my breakfast. I'm gonna make eggs. I think I'm gonna put it on a protein wrap. I haven't quite decided. But I'm gonna have some vegetables. I love just sauteing or roasting up some zucchini. Since I'm not meal prepping this week, I thought I would just go ahead and throw a bunch in there. So I've got zucchini, I've got yellow squash, and I've got some yellow peppers, and oh, I forgot my red pepper. I'm going to add a little bit of red pepper in there as well. So I'm just making up a bunch of this, and then I'll eat it, and then I'll just put it in my fridge, and I'll have it throughout the week. I like to do that on the weeks that I don't meal prep, just to kind of have some extra in there. So I'm going to let this cook, and then I'll cook my eggs and show you what I end up with. All right, so got my protein wrap over here. I just heated it in a pan just to kind of heat it a little bit. But these are protein wraps that I get from Aldi. They're two points per wrap. And if you're counting calories, 120 calories. So sometimes with my eggs, I'll put cottage cheese. Sometimes I'll put feta cheese. Today, I'm going to spread a laughing cow cheese wedge over top. Okay, next I'm going to give these avocados a try. So these are avocado chunks. They're frozen avocado and I mentioned these in my last video because April had asked me if I've ever tried these and come to find out she ended up buying them the same time that I did. So I'm anxious to hear how she likes them. But she wanted to know if I've ever tried them and I never have. So a lot of you commented in there about that you've used them like for shakes or smoothies and that they work good, which I imagine they work great for that. But I like mine on my eggs or kind of like 
avocado toast. So I'm just gonna smash some on here. So I just let it sit out for a little bit and thaw. All right, so I just tried it and I don't notice a difference really. Maybe a little tiny bit, not much. So if you are one who has avocados that go to waste, that's a great option. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of this everything but the salt, salt-free dash. All right, then I've got my eggs. I couldn't decide on fried or scrambled. So when I do them fried, I like them over easy. But I decided to just do kind of like a fried egg and I just went ahead and poked the yolks and cooked the yolks. So now I've got some Tostito salsa. And I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the top. And to make my eggs, I just put some cooking spray in the pan and that's it. I didn't add any salt or anything to them. Completely up to you. And then this is probably not gonna roll as good since I cooked it ahead of time, it might. But for those of you, I know I have several of you that ask how to roll up a burrito. So put your toppings in the middle and then you're gonna take the ends and just kind of fold them over. Then you're gonna take this end and fold it. Like I said, it's not gonna work as good because I toasted this. I'm afraid it's gonna break. No, it should work okay. And then just keep folding it. Sometimes the stuffing will come out and you can kind of push it back in with your finger and just fold it like that. So it's closed on both ends. And now to give it a little extra zing, I'm gonna drizzle some hot sauce on there. All right, so that is my breakfast. Now let's talk about the points. It's two points for my wrap, zero for my eggs, one point for the Laughing Cow cheese, and then the avocado, I'm gonna count as one point. It's three points for half a cup. But whenever I measure out avocado, or I weigh it out actually, I weigh out 35 grams for one point. And what I had on there is probably about the equivalent, probably actually a little bit less than what I usually put on there. So that is my breakfast, or actually my brunch. I don't know if I'm gonna be having anything else between this and dinner, honestly. And I'm still not sure what we're having. So I'm probably either gonna take advantage of the points and either have a higher point dinner or depending how I feel I may just end up having something for dessert tonight so we'll see what happens so this is four points and if you're counting calories it's about between 320 400 calories I mean it really depends on the amount of vegetables that you have I would say my best guess would be about 350 calories so that's what I have left for my veggies. I actually <laughs> have quite a bit with my breakfast. So I'll just put this in my fridge and have it either for breakfast. Honestly, sometimes I'll just get these out, heat them in the microwave and eat them this way. I love, love, love these. So I'm having a little mid-afternoon snack. Actually, I need to refill my water too. So I recently found these Dannon Light and Fit Protein Smoothies. These are so good and they're only one point. They are 80 calories, they've got 10 grams of protein in them, there's no added sugars to them, just seven grams of natural sugars. They're so good. I've never seen these before, but I got these at Walmart, and they have other flavors too, they're really good. And then here I have just a handful of blueberries that I'm gonna have with it. And then we are thinking about doing homemade pizzas tonight. So I'm not sure if we're gonna do strombolis or regular pizza, I haven't decided yet. So I'll come back and show you what we decide to do. All right, for dinner tonight, we've decided on homemade pizzas. I am washing and dicing up a red pepper. So I absolutely love red pepper on my pizza, but I don't like them raw. So I like to roast them up first. So I have a, an aluminum pan here that I've sprayed with some cooking spray, and I'm gonna put that in a 425 degree oven for probably about 20 minutes. So now I'm gonna put together the two ingredient dough. So I have here some non-fat Greek yogurt, and also some self-rising flour. 
So I'm actually kind of combining some recipes. So I have my two ingredient dough stromboli, and then I saw Nikki Gets Fit does kind of like a Detroit style pizza. So I've done regular pizzas and I've done the stromboli, but I've never done the Detroit style and it, hers looks really good. So I'll link both my stromboli recipe down below and also I'll link her Detroit style pizza down below as well. For her, she uses one and a third cups of flour, so that's what I used for this. I'm gonna just add some extra points at the end. So I used one third cup of self-rising flour, and I used one cup of the non-fat Greek yogurt. Now, if you don't have self-rising flour, you can just use all-purpose flour and just add in a teaspoon of baking powder as well. So you're just gonna knead that dough until it's combined real well, and then just put it aside and let it sit while you get the other things ready. So now I have some Palio Part Skim Mozzarella. For this kind, it's three points for one ounce or 70 calories. So each ounce is 28 grams, so I'm just gonna weigh out. At first I weighed out 56 grams because I was gonna use an ounce for each one, but then I looked at my Stromboli recipe and I end up adding some more cheese because I realized that on my Stromboli recipe, I use one and a half ounces for each serving. So now I have these glass dishes. I will link these down in the description box. I think they're eight by six by two. So now I'm just weighing out the dough just to make sure that I have even amounts in each one. And then we're just gonna push that dough down into the prepared glass dishes. So I just sprayed it with some cooking spray and then just push the dough down in the bottom. So just push it to the corners the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, as long as you don't have like a big mound on one side. Now something that I love doing with pizzas and strombolis is adding some garlic and actually I add the garlic juice from my jar of garlic. I usually don't use jarred garlic a lot but when I have pizzas I love it. So just brush that on there and then I'm using this marinara. This is from Aldi. It's organic marinara pasta sauce and it is so good. You can have half a cup of this for one point. So I'm just gonna spoon that out and spread it all over. And then next I'm just gonna top it with the cheese. So just putting equal amounts of cheese on each one. You can put whatever toppings you want. So if you just want a veggie, whatever you want, just make it your own. So now the roasted red peppers are going on. Love those on my <laughs> pizzas. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of feta crumbles. You can have a half an ounce of these for zero. So I'm just adding just a little bit. And you saw me, I was if it came out in big clumps and I just kind of broke it up a little bit. I'm having some mushrooms on mine. I love canned mushrooms on my pizza. If you want fresh mushrooms, you do you. My husband doesn't like mushrooms on his pizza, so I'm not putting any, any on his. But he does like salami on his, so I'm just gonna take a couple pieces of salami and cut it up and put that on his. I'm also gonna add a little bit of ham. They're like ham slices from Aldi. They're similar to Canadian bacon. So I'm just gonna add a couple pieces of those. You can have two ounces of these for one point, I believe, so it's not gonna add too much on there. So my stromboli recipe is nine points, but I'm gonna add an extra five points just because I am adding some flour and adding some additional things to this. I'm putting 12 slices of turkey pepperoni on each one, which is actually less turkey pepperoni than I put on my strombolis. Now these are going in 425 degree oven for about 30 minutes. And that is what they look like. And let me tell you, they made my house smell so good. So now I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of oregano. Usually I do that before I cook them, but I completely forgot. And then just a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. And you can kind of see the edges almost remind me of like Pizza Hut's pizza. So it's definitely not as crispy as my stromboli because my stromboli, I put like an egg wash over the top and I put it in the air fryer. But this was really good. So between the stromboli and this, honestly, they're just different. The stromboli, I mean, it's a stromboli. It's like a rolled up pizza. This is a true pizza. So I think the next time that I make a regular pizza, I will make it this way again, definitely. So like I said, I'll link the recipe to my stromboli down below and I'll link the recipe to Nikki Gets Fit Pizza and I'll also put a link to her channel as well so you can go check her out. So if I were to eat this entire thing based on what I put on it, it's gonna be about 14 points, which for me is perfect for pizza night. So if I just wanted to eat half of it, it would only be seven. But compared to ordering pizza out, that's a big difference. So honestly, I don't think I'm gonna be eating anything more tonight. 
but I'll come back and show you if I do. So I did end up eating that all. <laughs> I had probably three quarters of it and then I set it aside and I was gonna save it for the next day, but then probably about, I don't know, 45 minutes later, I ended up having the rest. So this is what I did. I took my stromboli recipe that was nine points and then I just wrote, added in edits to pizza for five points. The reason why is when I went to my stromboli recipe, I can go in and edit and I can make all the changes that I need to make. But if I do that, then it's gonna mess the recipe up for those of you who are actually looking for the stromboli recipe. So I can't really edit my own recipes like that. So otherwise, what I did is I went in and just did it and didn't save it. And it told me it was 14 points the way that I made it. Definitely worth the 14 points for that whole entire pizza. That was a lot, it was a lot of food. So my stromboli recipe actually makes enough for four. So that dough, I usually, split into four. So the fact that this was 14 points for it was pretty good. So I ended up with four points for breakfast, four points for lunch, and 14 points for dinner, plus my one point snack. So I ended up right at 23 points for the day. And I've mentioned to you before, this says zero fluid ounces. I just don't track my water because I, I drink water all day long. So I know I always hit my water. So if you're new to my What I Eat In A Day videos, I always like to put a little disclaimer out there saying that you should just use these as a guide or inspiration. You should never follow exactly what somebody eats. We all have different caloric needs. We all have different protein needs. You know my saying, you do you. So just take What I Eat In A Day videos and just kind of use them as inspiration to make your own meals and what works for you. So as always, I appreciate the thumbs up on my videos, and if you're new, I would love for you to be part of the family. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one.